Good morning from Classic Cars Limited. I'm gonna do a walk around video of the 88 Saline Mustang. This is a one owner car. Original owner. Very, very particular about the car. 39,000 miles on it. Always been in Northern California. Put the uh, hollow studs or the hollow uh, lug nuts on there for the front. The owner put, like I said, he had the car since new. He put Cobra rims on it, you'll see in the other photos. I cleaned up the originals and put these back on. He put the Cobra wheels on, rims on, uh, because these bent so easily. So he'd gone through a couple of rims and decided that he would put the Cobras on for regular driving and store these away for keepsakes. And when he put the Cobras on, Cobra rims on, he had to put longer studs on the front. So the original lug nuts, like you see in the rear, didn't fit. So I had to put the uh, hollow lug nuts on the fronts to get the original wheels back on. Is in very good condition. He does have six of these original rims and uh, the Cobras also. Clean these up, it came out very well. put the paint meter readings on. The only panel that's been repainted is the hood. He did do that because there were some nicks on there. And you'll notice also that uh, he didn't put a hood pad back in. And he didn't do that because a couple of reasons. When he put the supercharger on it, it didn't fit that well. And uh, he didn't like the look of the bulky pad that wasn't very form-fitting. Original sailing letters. He didn't like the pad, the uh, bulky pad, so uh, he left it off and really cleaned up and finished the underneath of the, uh, the hood. Unbelievably clean interior. He does have the stock head unit. He just put this one in because he wanted a CD player. Then he found out with the suspension, it skips. At that point, he didn't drive it that much. Still very tight. Very nice. Hardly anywhere in the bolsters. Put the roll bar in. The roll bar can be removed. Anything he did, he did in such a way that you could remove it and put it completely back to stock without really knowing. Same with the uh, boost gauge on the other side, I'll show you. Let's pop that.
this is the inner side of the hood. I was noting that he finished very, just as well as he did the, the outside of the hood. This is the supercharger that he put in. He did have to have the uh, cross brace. It didn't clear, the original one didn't clear the uh, intake from the supercharger to the intake. Of course, all the original parts that came off uh, with the car. with moderate to severe RA when rated Zeljans clean back here. You put a couple extra pads for sound deadening. cold. You can see that in the drive video. There's a, put a thermometer over here on this vent. You can watch it drop like a rock. Boost gauge, as you can see, uh, this little rubber grommet here he put in so he wouldn't have to drill holes. Like I said, everything that he did, he wanted to be able to take it back to stock. Everything is carb compliant in this car, so if it's sold in California, it will not be an issue. This car has been smogged, no issues at all.
does that sound? If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section or reach out to us. Enjoy the auction. Good luck bidding if you're bidding. Have a great day.